Hey guys, what is up? Plastic Guy here, coming back with another figure review, and today we're taking a look at this Marvel Select Immortal Hulk. This is a figure I've been dying to get my hands on ever since I first seen it, and finally he has arrived. I've got him in hand, and I just really want to do what we always do in the channel, take a closer look at the box, and then I'll get this figure out and we'll share some thoughts on him. The figure is huge, the box is massive, so yeah, I really just want to get him out and see what he's up to. The box itself, as I previously mentioned on the Crow Diamond Select figure that we took a look at on the channel, it's the older design of Marvel Select, Diamond Select. Saying this, I think Marvel Select are going to stay with this box design, I think it's Diamond Select that have kind of updated it, going for a more kind of collector, inbox friendly feel. But yeah, I think Marvel Select are keeping with this massive bulky design that they always have, which is fine, especially for a figure that's as massive as this one here. But we've got a Mortal Hulk along here, special collector edition action figure, Marvel Select. We've got a wee radioactive sign here. We've got the figure in the box displayed as such. And uh, nothing on that side. You've got the product image on the back here. You've got a wee read up over here. So if you do want to read that, guys, hit the pause button now. Another Marvel Select logo. Really like these product images. Oh, man, I just really like the look of this figure. And an image at the side of the Hulk, which I think is an interesting image they went for because he's got this sort of bowl cut thing, which I really don't like the look of. Um, and then the figure, of course, doesn't really have the same hairdo. But nonetheless, pretty cool box. But let's get into the figure. Holy moly, guys. After a good 10, 15 minutes, Trying to get that Hulk figure out of the box. Here he is. I mean, that was a bit ridiculous. I've went over this in videos before. I just don't get why companies still insist on using those bendy wires to secure the figures in the box. The figures aren't going to go anywhere, especially this massive Hulk. They fit snugly in the plastic enough. We really don't need bendy wires, which take ages to undo, probably not eco-friendly and just, you know, they're just a pain. I do not know why companies still use them. The figures fit snugly enough in the plastic, they're not going to go anywhere. Let's just get rid of them. Anyway, here we have the Immortal Hulk figure and I'm so happy to get this guy. As I mentioned earlier, as soon as I first seen this Hulk figure, I just knew I had to get him. I've only got maybe two other Hulk figures in my collection and they're both old Toy Biz Hulks. They're really outdated now and although I really do like them and I like the look of them, they definitely aren't a definitive Hulk figure for me. And when I seen this guy, I just knew he was a must have. He looks amazing. He looks to me like maybe one of the best Hulk figures I've ever seen. And I quickly searched on the internet forum over here in the UK and there was really no listings. I could only see one at the time, which was completely sold out uh, when it was up for pre-orders. However, in the last week or so, a couple listings have popped up and I managed to grab this guy from A1 Toys. Came quickly enough, really good price as well, so definitely happy with that. So here he finally is in front of me. Let's just take a closer look at him. So we get two swappable hands. So he's got two fisted hands in, he's clobbering time hands. And then you get these grabby hands. And the level of detail in these hands alone are awesome. I mean, look at this in the palm. Looks great. Also, before we go any further, guys, I need to bring this up because I just have to. When I ordered this figure, I was like, I've not seen the Hulk. When did it come out? 2004 or something? The Ang Lee Hulk film? I was like, I've not seen that film in years. Probably since I was like six years old. I don't think I've watched that film. And I watched it all the time as a kid. So I thought, I'm going to have to re-watch this. Re-spark my passion for the Hulk character. And... It is the strangest film I've ever seen. Probably not, but it is super strange. Honestly, it kind of blew my mind a little. And I want to know what you guys think of that film. In the end, I really did like it. You know, I don't think it's a bad film. I did really like a lot of things in it. But yeah, it is a weird one. So let me know down in the comments below what you think of the original Hulk film uh, with Eric Banner as Bruce Banner. 
uh, directed by Ang Lee. It's on Netflix. If you haven't seen it, definitely give it a watch and let me know what you think. And while you're down there, guys, if you could do me a massive favour, hit that like button and also smash that subscribe button for future videos on figures and collectibles such as this guy right here. So yeah, we get the other grabby hand and of course it is just the exact same but for the other arm. So yeah, I like how we get these. Um, pretty cool. I do just really like the detail on them. You can see the veins and things running right up the fingers. Yeah, awesome. I really like these sculpted hands here. And here is the alternative head sculpt. And for me, I don't know, man. I'm not a massive fan of it. And the only really reason is because I don't recognize it. I've not read the comics with uh, this head sculpt making an appearance or anything. I have read a few Hulk comics as well. I do really like some of the Hulk comics. But yeah, I've never seen this version of Hulk. And although it is a really cool head sculpt, great details in there, really like the red eye, sort of Terminator Hulk here. Um, I don't know, it's just not for me. I would much prefer just another casual looking head sculpt because I love this head sculpt. This head sculpt looks awesome. But the fact that there's no more like cyborg elements on the figure it really kind of dismisses this head sculpt for me. And I'd much prefer it if we got perhaps angrier head sculpt than this. Um, let me just bring him closer to the camera here. I mean, this is pretty angry. To be honest, I'd actually be fine with this as an angry head sculpt. But my point is, I prefer just maybe a more neutral Hulk face, a more just kind of natural neutral Hulk head sculpt and then this as an angry option or as I said perhaps an even angrier looking head sculpt rather than getting that cyborg looking one as I said it is a great head sculpt though and whoa don't want to break the Hulk here that was my spider senses tingling there hmm stay so yeah as I was saying I think it's a really good head sculpt I mean the detail and the paint and everything is there However, I'm just not a fan of the character, but yeah, if you are a fan of the character, this is a result and I think you'd be really happy is what I was getting at before Hulk decided to take a little tumble. But let's just take a closer look at Hulk before he falls again. And this figure is massive, absolutely humongous. And I actually do just want to measure him out here to show you how big he actually is because I knew this guy was going to be big, but... And <laughs> this even kind of blew my expectations out of the water. So let's just get a measuring tape. So I always mean to do this in videos, guys, and I always forget. But here is the measuring tape here. And if we put that to the bottom of his foot, and then, yeah, I can see. Well, it might be hard for you guys to see, but Hulk here is standing at 10 inches tall. So 10 inches is massive, this guy is huge, but he just looks fantastic. The head sculpt, as I said, this head sculpt is an absolute favourite of mine. This looks great. I really like the hair, as I kind of mentioned, uh, looking at the box, I'm not a massive fan of that bowl cut look. I think this hair is perfect for the Hulk here and oh, some white paint from when he fell over earlier. That will come off. Um, not a big deal. There we go, it's coming off. I knew that's why I tried to grab him. I knew he was going to do some sort of damage. But yeah, really nice sculpted hair right round the head. And just, oh, I can't get enough of this angry screaming in front of the face. It looks awesome. I really like the teeth. I like the open mouth. Yeah, I think that's a great head sculpt for Hulk here. Then got the rest of the body and wow, I just love the paint work here, like the shadowing, how it's lighter in the abs and the chest and then it gets darker as it goes out. And you see this throughout the figure. I just think it looks awesome, especially on top of this sculpt. I mean, he looks shredded. You've got the veins running through the arms here. Oh, it looks so good. And then you've got the fisted hands, which once again, just a great sculpt. You've got the veins in the back. Yeah, I really like those hands. I really like the vein work throughout all the arms. You can see it going up here. Chest area looking fine. 
Some ripped abs, yeah, I mean, once again, just the pain, like, I really like the difference in the pain and the shadowing effects and everything, it looks awesome. Just this arm as well, good vein work. The hands look great, the hands look really good. More vein work and everything, and then you've got the shorts, absolutely ripped up at the knees there. I'd maybe like um, just slight more reps up at the thighs here, maybe just like one rep on one side just to kind of mix up a wee bit more, but once again, really good paintwork, you can tell just it looks so textured and all, oh, it looks awesome, actually a lot of detail in there, you can just tell how his thighs are ripped, that's why I'd really like just maybe another tear, just show the brutal aspect of Hulk's transformation. And the feet look great too. I mean, the feet look awesome. Once again, a lot of veins and everything. And the feet are huge, as you'd expect, so they can stand this figure up. And then the back of the shorts, the Hulk butt. And yeah, tell you shred it back and everything there. So for me, this figure looks awesome. I just want to compare him next to some other figures in my collection. I'm a Marvel Legends collector, most of my Marvel figures are Marvel Legends, my main collection is pretty much Marvel Legends. So this being a Diamond Select Hulk, I really want to see how he fits in with those figures, so let's just check that out just now. So one of the first figures I wanted to compare next to this Diamond Select or Marvel Select Hulk is the Marvel Legends retro carded Spider-Man and he is minuscule compared to this Hulk figure. On camera here, he does look, I mean, half the size, and I thought he'd maybe look a bit more in scale, just judging on pictures and things I've seen, but right now, yeah, you can really tell the size difference there. My thoughts on getting this Hulk is Hulk obviously comes in lots of different sizes, and he's meant to get bigger the more angrier and things he gets. So personally, I'm not actually too bothered that he is so big, and I feel like it can be justified and because of the sculpt and everything on this guy, he is just an amazing Hulk figure. I am not too bothered uh, displaying him with these smaller figures. However, I have seen pictures on Instagram and other platforms where he does look a lot better scaled than what he does look right now. And the first thing I'm going to do when this video ends is take a lot of pictures for my Instagram of this Hulk figure. So yeah, he might look a lot better in the photos who knows? What I will do though is keep a link to my Instagram down in the description below guys so if you want to go and check that out feel free. I post pictures of my collection pretty much every day so yeah if you want to check that out I'll leave the link down in the description below. I've seen a lot of comparisons with this Diamond, I keep on saying Diamond Select, but Marvel Select Hulk with the 80 years Marvel Legends 2 pack Hulk and Wolverine figures and I think the 8 years Marvel Legends figure is definitely probably the second best Hulk figure after this Diamond Select one. Of course the Marvel Legends Hulk is going to scale a lot better with your Marvel Legends, but for that reason I did want to put a comic Wolverine next to this guy and just see how he scales. And of course Wolverine is a lot smaller than the likes of Spider-Man and things like that. So as you can see, he's even, I mean, he pretty much is less than half the height of this Hulk figure. But I'm not too bothered. I actually think it doesn't look too bad. And once again, getting pictures and comparing it to this video is a totally different story. You can kind of trick the angles and things like that when you're taking the photos. So we'll see how that pans out. And yeah, here is your X-Force Wolverine next to the Diamond Select Hulk. And roughly standing about the same size as the retro card of Spider-Man, here we have Captain America. And I just wanted to see how this Hulk would fit in with the movie figures. Of course this Hulk is more of a comic look, and here we have an MCU Captain America. And I don't know, I don't mind it, I think uh, Hulk definitely looks more comic-like, but he doesn't look too out of place either. So to just run over the articulation on Hulk here, which might be a bit tricky because as I said he's just out the box and he is feeling a bit stiff. Uh, you can get his head moving about that far up. He'll move about that far down, which isn't too bad. Uh, he'll move left and right as well, of course. Let's see how far we can get his arm up. So about that much, so we're not even looking at a right angle 
Yeah, it's not going to move any further than that. He's got a bicep swivel, so you can get that moving around a wee bit. I don't want to move it around too much more than that in case it scuffs any paint, things like that. He's got a single jointed elbow, so he'll move about that far up, which is looking a bit like a right angle. And you can rotate the hand around as well, and it moves backwards and forwards. I would recommend maybe taking a hairdryer to your stiff figures. I'm not too bothered, um, probably should just for the sake of this articulation segment, but that does loosen joints up, but I've never really done it too much. I've done it a couple of times, however, a lot of folk recommend either using a hairdryer or bathing the figures in hot water to loosen your joints up if you're playing around with them when they're just out of the box. Uh, just the same articulation in this arm and then we've got a diaphragm joint here so you can get him moving left and right and he will move backwards and forwards a wee bit as well. Uh, doesn't look like he's going to move at the waist, nope. Uh, you can get his leg kicking that far forward, but that far backwards and he does have a double jointed knee by the looks of it so it will move up that far which I think actually looks pretty good. And then you can get his feet moving backwards and forwards, and it also has some nice ankle pivot. And there we go guys, that's about it for this video, and a final thoughts, I love this figure. I just love the look of him, he looks absolutely fantastic. I love the sculpt of the figure, and then the paint applications on top just blows me away this is definitely a definitive hulk figure it's my favorite looking hulk figure that i've ever seen and i've seen a lot of folk agree i think a lot of folk love this figure and the only downside for me really is the fact that he doesn't scale all that well with marvel legends but at the same time it can be justified he is the hulk and he comes in all different shapes and sizes so it isn't the biggest deal the only other thing I'd say is perhaps the head sculpt issue, but once again, it's not really an issue, it's just my personal preference. So yeah, I mean, this figure is fantastic, and I would highly recommend it, especially if you can get it for under £30. Marvel Select, Diamond Select figures kind of average from 25 to 30 and once they sell out, they seem to go up in price quite a bit as well, so grab this figure while you can. As I mentioned earlier, I'll leave the link to my Instagram down in the description below where I post pictures of my collection pretty much every day. So feel free to hop on over there and check that out. While you're down there guys, please hit that like button, smash that subscribe button for future videos and figures and collectibles such as this one right here. And feel free to hop on over to the channel page to check out plenty of other videos on superheroes like Hulk and plenty of other figures as well. Thank you guys for all the support so far, and I'll catch you on the flip-flop later. Cheers.